And now I've been MIA. MIA has been missing in action for the past few days. Only pants, only pants, cooking life. Because my battery wasn't charging. My phone wasn't charging properly. Oops. Yes. Like most of the time, when your phone stops charging or like gets really, really slow charging, it's when you accidentally put it in water. So like, um, one of my radiographers I was working with, so that was happening to my phone, right? And he was like, give me your phone. And I'm like, it's just not charging. It's like slow charging, right? But it had history of being in water or like being having moisture, you know, like, mm, but anyway, and so he got like a needle or a small pin. Hey, Joey, long time no see. I know I have been, I have been in my way. Anyway, I was, I've been coming home late from work. Like last Friday, we were doing a um we were doing a drinks a living drinks for our general surgeons who are leaving and because i'm going to that um i decided that and most of the time i'm eight to five you know most of the time i finish at 5 p.m and so most of the time i'm the one who gets to go and so like this time because i mean i don't necessarily have to go home early and also I'm going to this living drinks anyway so um, I said well you know what I can do the last case like randomly <laughs> randomly I'll be the one to stay late you know and then I was imagining like finishing maybe 6 30 because the drinks starts at 6 p.m. so if I finish at 5 I'll be too early but then if I go all the way home it doesn't make sense like I'll go home and then come back like but i just wasted my time going back and forth like i could just eat dinner there because i'm thinking i'm gonna be hungry maybe eat there while i'm waiting for people to turn up for the drinks you know and then um and then there's a lot of people who wanted to come in early like i had a colleague who's on night shift and he was gonna come you know i was gonna text him oh i'm here and then he was gonna come and um and there was somebody else who finishes at four. You know, we were gonna go together. I, I miss a lot of people. Like I ended up not, like a lot of people who wanted to go, like ended up not going <laughs> because I think they're waiting for me, but they didn't know where I was. And then <coughs> I was stuck in a case. And I was thinking like maybe, cause that case started at 2 p.m. So I was thinking maybe finish at, I don't know, 6.30. <laughs> You know, and then I think that's perfect, or like even before then. You know what time it finished? 8. 8 p.m. What the hell? I ended up staying so late. And then my phone just isn't charging. I was even thinking of going live there. You know, I'm like, oh, if I get there early, <laughs> if I finish at 5, and then I get there early, you know what? I'm going to go live, you know, while maybe I'm having dinner, and then... <laughs> and then it will be okay um and then you know wait for people to turn up <laughs> hey cookie monster <laughs> and then well that didn't happen um so i like like 8 p.m right i finish and then we had oh we had giveaways for them so we had giveaways for our general surgeons i'll show you i have one because it comes in a pack of five so i kept one for in here um so it says because where we are wait maybe i shouldn't show you <laughs> but anyway it says um never mind never mind so i have to i have to make sure that i keep 
my content as unidentifiable as possible. You know? Because that gives me more freedom with my content. Because if, if I start getting, if my content starts getting, how do I say it? Identified with my workplace, you know, or the trust that I work for, Mm. It limits my options. It limits my mm, content because now I'll have to think about, or I'll have to ask them for permission. You know, is this good? Like, um, is this content good to represent us? You know, because it's like you're representing them now. Hey, my dog. Good evening. How are you today? So, yeah, I have to be careful. Like, I have to make sure that it's unidentifiable. Which at the moment it is. And then, I don't know where to put this. I don't even use it, you know. And, sounds like fun. Oh, yeah, yeah, we. <laughs> Sorry. It was fun. <laughs> Easier to stay then. And and then like okay, so you know what? Okay, so I ordered that off Amazon, that you know, fridge magnet. So it's kinda like um it says like I've been to it's like a fridge magnet, souvenir, you know. So I've been to where we are, you know, the place where we are. I've been to the place where we are and then it says best I've ever had, you know. And then um, and then, you know, Amazon, normally it's very, because, wait, 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 wait. First of all, I didn't know that this was happening. Okay, I, I found out about it kind of late. I found out about it Monday morning, I think, or Sunday morning, something like that, around that time. And I was just coming from night shifts. And, um, and there was like, I was like, so I, I it kind of it's really weird for me as well because most of the time when these things happen you know like if somebody goes for like a going away drinks most like i've been to those things before but most of the time who organizes it is the person who's leaving you know or like the people who are leaving they would say oh we're gonna do the drinks at this time or like They were like, oh, you have to write your name on a paper, like going to the pub. But then, but then, I've never had that before. Like, you put your name down only if you're um, going to reserve the place. You know? I was really confused about it. You know, when I heard about it, I was like, what? You have to write your name to go to a pub. What? doesn't make sense to me and then um and then it turns out <coughs> um we have organized it like uh, our side and i was thinking so what are we doing something for them like why did we invite them <laughs> did we invite them to go there and it seems like i don't understand anyway so um so i decided that you know maybe <laughs> To make it make sense, <laughs> maybe we should give them something like you know, give them a memento or something. So, um, so I decided to order that thing, but it comes in a pack of five. But from Amazon, most of the time, oh sorry, I'm making over <laughs> Um, I'm making a Filipino dish called tortang talong. It's like you just, I, you will see anyway what it is. Carmel loves it, it's her favorite. And then, I just pierced, well, you saw me. I just pierced all of them and then put them in the oven. <laughs> and then, what was I saying? Most of the time, you know, Amazon is really good, right? Like, I have never had a problem. If I want to get something really quickly, I would go to Amazon. You know, like, if I want something to be, to be delivered to me the next day or the quickest, you know, I would go there because I've never, like, if they tell me that they are going to deliver at this day, you know, it 
it will arrive on that day. You know what I mean? I have never, like, that has never happened before. And so, for this one, it was meant to arrive on Thursday, 8 p.m. And guess what? It didn't arrive. And I was like, what? <laughs> it's gonna be tomorrow and there's nothing. And then so, I messaged the person who was selling it. And I'm like, what? The reason why I chose this particular one was because it said it's gonna be arriving by Thursday. And now it's saying 30th. What the hell? Like, that's too late. Anyway, in the end, it arrived on Friday, 8 p.m., which is, um, like, right after I finished my case, I looked at my Amazon just to double-check, like, what if it arrives, you know, and then it said delivered, and I'm like, oh, maybe I should go and pick it up, and so that's what happened, you know. I went home, and I was thinking, I need to charge my phone, and my phone is not charging, which is mad, because I'm running out of battery, so I couldn't go live, you know, um, and then... I, but I was rushing. I'm like, I'm just gonna go home and pick this up, you know, put them together. I just put them in envelopes. And then, you know, leave and then go to the drinks. And then, well, anyway, it's working now because I did this trick that the radiographer told me before. Like, so basically, my phone fell in the toilet. It's so disgusting because I just pee. You know, I just at work. I'm telling you, these scrubs, these scrubs are a nightmare. Like these scrubs. Wait, how did I just wash that? Wait. So these scrubs are a nightmare because it just jumps out. It just jumps out. It stuck in your pocket. Just jumps out of it. You know, especially if you're going to the toilet because you pull it, pull up your scrubs. You know, to, to put down your trousers. And then somehow it just does that. It's so bloody annoying. Because my phone... I don't even know how that happened. I peed. I think I was putting back my trousers. What did I do? I don't know. But anyway, I just... Next thing you know, my phone is in the toilet with my pee. Which is really disgusting. <coughs> but it's still working now. Oops, but I thought, <laughs> I thought this wasn't a full pack. Fine. Okay, I don't need a small pack. I need a big pack. I need a big pack. Okay, let me read your comments before I get too late. Easier to stay then. Hello, gorgeous. Hey, Cookie Monster. Good evening, Miss Tins. Good evening, Mad Dog. Yeah, that's why I stayed. You say hi to him and not me. What? I said, Cookie Monster. Hi, I'm doing better now. I got to see you. Oh, Were you sad when you didn't see me? Did you miss me? I'm being hardcore ignored. I said, Cookie Monster. First time you came in. What's for dinner tonight? I'm making a tortang talong. You know, the aubergine thing that Carmela likes. The eggplant. Eggplant dish. Did you just say, to 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 Laura. Good evening. Did your phone run out of coal again? Yes, OMG. Opinion. No, no, I, anyway, so anyway, anyway, I got my phone out, you know, washed it, but thank God the phones nowadays, it can be in water for a bit and then it's still okay, but the only thing is it wasn't charging properly, like, um, like really, really slow, you know, right after that, it just charges really, really slow, but then this happened to me before where my phone charged really, really slow and then the radiographer taught me that you get a needle or like sometimes I use earrings because like some like I think I have earrings more readily available than needles <laughs> you know what I mean like I have earrings in my house <laughs> so uh, and I don't think I have needles in my house no I don't have needles in my house so you know you 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 get a really oh I can't show you because my phone I'm using my phone but you know where they charge you just scrape it off with a whatever, you know, because um, apparently it just gets um, like, you know, the conduction is not working properly because there's some stuff getting in the way of 
conducting the electricity basically. So you just scratch, 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 scratch that part, and then it starts working again. <clears throat> and then, um, and then, and then I'm making adobo, Filipino adobo. This is Filipino adobo, pork belly. This is pork belly. I'm just chopping it into cubes. And then what happened? <laughs> And then, um, yesterday, ah, I was a bit hungover. Like, I was so tired. Yesterday, I was so loopy. Like, I didn't even want to get up. We even have pizza for dinner last night. You would think being a nurse and working in a hospital, there would be a needle or two. <laughs> I know that there, there are lots of needles in the hospital, but not in my house. Not in my house. And then... So what did we do? I mean, I, I watched a film with Carmela, that's what we did. And I was trying to help her be motivated to revise. Revising is like doing a review, you know, like studying, studying. That's, they call it revising in this country. Um, and then today was more busy for me because I left a lot of things yesterday. Like, I didn't do much yesterday. I just... Sorry, wait a minute. So this is called a novel. And then what you do is you mix together um, you know, pork or chicken. You can use pork or chicken, or you can put, you can use you can even use a mix of both. So Filipino in the Filipino dish, you can use a mix of both. And then you use Filipino soy sauce because this is the most important ingredient. It has to be Filipino soy sauce. I mean, you can use other soy sauce, but it's not gonna taste the same. And then you can use either or both. Um, um, cane vinegar, cane sugar vinegar, but uh, or lemon. Um, traditionally, it's cane sugar vinegar, but since I tried the lemon version, I like it, so I'm doing it. I've, ever since, I've been using the lemon version. Oh, shoot. I think I dropped a seed. And then garlic. And then today, I was like, I need to do everything today because it's my last weekend and then tomorrow I'm going to be working. I'm going to be working like every single day this week. I know, I know I chopped the meat here, but it's fine because this is going to go with the meat anyway and it's not like it's not going to get hurt with the meat, so it's fine. change my chopping board when I get to potatoes and onions as well. Onions. 
So today, um, what did I do today? I cleaned the bathroom. I, I cleaned the house. I cleaned the house. I mopped this whole thing. Um, oh yeah, I was looking around, you know, all those corners. Like, you know, you know that corner, like all those corners, but around the house. Because there's loads of um, cobwebs. <laughs> you don't notice them. Like, you can barely see them, but they're there. Like, if you look closely, they're there. And it's so um, amazing. I mean, not really amazing, but I mean, surprising how much you get, like, you see. I mean, how much it accumulates. Like, how do they even get there? You know what I mean? And you don't even notice. And it's, like, it's surprising how much actually is there without you noticing it. Wait, let me read your comments. Hey, SK. It's good evening to you. How are you today? <sighs> yes, your phone is working well. You are delayed, so it must be. I was just talking a lot. You would think being a nurse and... Oh, I'm seeing that one. Good evening. How are you, SK? Holy shit. How much soy sauce are you putting in? Yes, that's how you do it. Seriously. Lauren. That's how you do it. It's this is basically a soy sauce dish. Yes, yes. Bloody New Zealanders. <laughs> I love when trying to get things out of the fridge. I was thinking that as well. <laughs> what? you watch me live my live cooking my cooking live is you like to see me struggle no I can't use this anymore because I'm not gonna use up the pool again okay fine um, the onion and the potato can share the chopping bowls you know what I really like that um chickpea curry I think I want to use the chickpea curry, um, you know, that flavor combination with turmeric and curry powder and cumin. Those, that combination, I like it. I think I'm going to use it for other stuff. You know, the only thing that bothers me is the smell. Like, when you're cooking everything in oil, it just smells just so strong. And... I'm wondering if you if you just dissolve it in water without sauteing everything in oil, is it gonna be as smelly? I mean, maybe it's not gonna be as tasty or like maybe that's because I see a lot of um, you know Indian cooking recipes that they do that. You know, they they saute the spices in oil, and I think that's what makes it really smell really strongly. I'm thinking like maybe it's not gonna be as you know, as rich and tasty if you don't, you know, if you don't do it in oil, if you don't do it in oil. But, maybe not having the very strong smell would be a good idea. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, if you can have it not as tasty, but then you can't smell it as much, I think that would be good. So I think I'm going to try doing that, like, just with water. I might have overdone my aubergine. I think my aubergine is okay. Wait, let me just split my aubergine. Aubergine or eggplant. Or eggplant. Let's see what's going on with the eggplant. Actually, it looks like it's done. Yeah. If it's soft, like, it has to be soft. It looks like it's done. Yeah, I 
We're not, but it's not done. It's not done yet. We're still gonna do. Tim, good evening. How are you today? Too much salt for me. The soy sauce? No, but then you have the lemon with it. I like having a little bit of soy sauce the last few weeks. No, I'm just here for the, the wash dishes and washing. It reminds me of how women. Oh my goodness. Laura. Good evening. Hey, Tim. Good evening. Okay, fine. You two, popular request. I'm going to give you what you want. Give people what they want. Anyway, this one is fine. It's going to cook for a bit. And I can leave it for a bit. You know, this is my go to if I'm lazy. Because you just leave it. You just put everything together and then leave it. You know? And, and then you put potatoes <laughs> later. <laughs> then you put potatoes. And then that's it. Oh, God. Okay, then we can wash. Good evening, Tim. How are you today? I go back to Crap England. Really? How did it go? How was your flight? The pork just wanted to take a bath in soy sauce. It wasn't that much soy sauce. What are you on about? Look, it's so pale. It has to look dark, you know. And look at this. It's not even that dark. Oh, look. That is nothing. That is nothing. Adobo is, has to be dark. That is what adobo is. Anyway, you will figure out when you actually try it. I mean, when you actually get to try a soy sauce, Filipino a soy sauce. You actually get to try adobo, then you will know. It has to be dark. Natural air conditioning here. Oh my gosh, but it gets so cold. Or is it washing up time? Yes. Hi, the milkman. How are you today? Why are you making pasta? No, adobo. It's a Filipino dish. Wait until she adds a bottle of vinegar. I did not. No, actually, I already told them that I'm not using vinegar for this dish because um, you're traditionally meant to use vinegar. But ever since I tried somebody else's, um, somebody else's adobo, and I was like, I watched how they did it. And they used lemon instead of vinegar and i actually liked it better <laughs> so i since then i don't use vinegar anymore i just use lemon that looks yum thank you so much the milkman well i'm gonna make this as well later we're gonna do this later as well but i'm gonna wash up first because um that will be quick that will be so quick like before you know it, it's done and it needs my full attention lemon sounds better I mean, the cane sugar, cane sugar vinegar, I guess it's a very different taste that you won't normally get to have available, you know, anywhere. So, I guess that's something different. And you lemon, lemon, everybody knows lemon. <laughs> it's not like it's something different, you know. Here you go. You're washing. <laughs> Woo! Washing up time. <laughs> I know. There you go. This is what you want. Is this what you want? Yes. Here you go. You're washing up time. I know you love it. You know you love it. <laughs> and then I... What else did I do today? I work, I worked out. I watched a film. I, I think I've been sitting in the middle of the film, actually. This is why they all subscribed. <laughs> because of the washing up. I hate washing out. Really? Oh. I mean, I don't mind it. I mean, actually, I like doing it on live because it gets boring washing up by yourself. <laughs> don't you think? Don't you think? That's why we watch her doing it instead. <laughs> it's like, I don't like washing up. But at least somebody else is washing up. Somebody else out there and is washing up and I'm I don't have to right now. <laughs> Makes me feel like I'm living a good life. <laughs> My life is better than hers. I'm joking. I'm joking. I know that's not what you think. <laughs> But I remember, I, I 
actually have a milkman in on Beagle. It's a true story, but it's not you, the milkman. I actually don't know where you. I mean, I, I don't think I've met you before, the milkman. You need a PO box so people can see. <laughs> The milkman where are you from i'm asking you but i didn't get to um record anything like i didn't get to record my next video i'm just slacking i took home the store's warehouse keys by mistake and i'm on annuity <gasps> oh no what are you gonna do? They can send prepaid envelope to return them and some fragile stickers. <laughs> what the hell? Tim, I'm from Australia. Oh, nice to meet you, the milkman from Australia. Hello, beautiful family. Hi, Dan from Mars. Good evening. How are you today? I can do makeup day tomorrow. Well, I was so tired. Like, I was seriously considering having a makeup day yesterday or today. But yesterday, I was just really tired. Like, <laughs> I was just, like, hangover. Not really. I, I don't really feel like I drank that much to be hangover. I had cognac. And you know what they told me? Apparently, um, in Greece, the only time that they drink cognac is for funerals. That's what I learned yesterday. And I learned that um, horses are really common in Jordan. <laughs> Is that true? And why? <laughs> Wait a minute. I cannot. Good evening, Tins. Hey, Dan from Mars. How are you? Say something about New Zealand so we know you're really from Australia. And not Lawrence! <laughs> what do you think? Lawrence has started to use a new account here on YouTube as well. Australia is better than New Zealand. <gasps> oh, no! Oh, no! You did not just say that. Dun, dun, dun! <laughs> oh my goodness. And, like, you know when I went from Australia to New Zealand, I bought, like, the boomerang earrings from Australia, and I was wearing them, and then Lawrence, <laughs> Lawrence hated it. Like, wearing Australian souvenir in New Zealand. Were this straight, say, street jest? <laughs> yes, I only had a double. I only had a double. That's all I had. But I felt kind of really red. <laughs> I felt really red from it. They need them back ASAP as they only main keys as they don't have. I know that's what I'm thinking. What are you going to do? Are you away right now? Can you give it back to them? Is there a way for you to give it back to them? Fine, fine, fine. It's just emotions taking me over. Got a thin sorrow lost in my soul. But if you don't come back, come home to me, darling. Don't you know there's nobody left in this world to hold me tight? Nobody left in this world to kiss goodnight. 
soaking chickpeas again because I want my daughter to try I want to do I want to re mm, I want to do my second trial of falafel and I want my daughter to try it I want to see if she likes it and also I want to make it more flavorful and also I want to make um, I want to try to do it mm, how is it like because the last time, I feel like it's dry, you know? And I feel like I want to try and do it in higher heat to see if that will help not make it dry inside. Oh, shoot. If that's the case, she'll have to get a gallon of washing up soap. If... Oh yeah, that's true. Or maybe, that's what you should send me. You should send me soap. <laughs> that's what... You should do the P.O. Box. P.O. Box for Soap. How was the week? Oh, it's been good. Um... I've been working. Um, Carmel is gonna be staying with me for longer. I mean, like more. And we're trying to work on stuff at school. And um, what else? Um, what else? <laughs> um, I think I have a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> but he doesn't know it yet. No, but I mean, never mind. And then, what else did I do? Um, how was my week? Work. I did orthopedics most, most of the week. I stayed at work, like, too late. The past, I mean, twice. Late twice. <gasps> oh my gosh, I had the, pe the teacher's evening. So I had the teacher's evening. The other day, which, you know, Carmela really prepared for and, you know, I never stay. I never stay. Like, most of the time, I would never stay at work. Like, because I finish at 5, most people finish at 6, you know, or 8. And so, and I don't agree, you know, because um, for me, for me, okay, in my own, in my own mind, um, if I've got the kids here, I'm the sole person responsible for my children, so I should prioritize that. You know, like, the patients who are in the hospital, I'm not the sole person responsible for them. There's other people who are responsible. You know, I'm only one of the staff, so it's not necessarily have to be me. 
you know what I mean but with my children I don't have staff <laughs> to cover <laughs> to come back home you know and look after them so I've always you know stuck to that like all these years always they know that if I say I can't stay and I will have to go home I don't stay you know and oh my gosh and the one time that I've decided that you know what maybe it's okay I feel so guilty about it um, was the night of the parents evening and I ended up staying like going home so late and I feel so guilty about it and you know um, I was so worried about how my daughter will feel about it because you know she was really excited she told me she told me what to wear you know from my from my coat my shoes and <clears throat> even like how to close my coat you know like oh close it like this when you're walking outside you have to tie this and keep this one open you know stuff like that like she was really excited about it so when i ended up finishing late no even while i was still there i was feeling like really anxious and i was like oh my goodness the one time and there's nobody who can relieve me at that particular moment because um they haven't the person i was with she hasn't done it before and it's like between the two of us i'm the one with more experience because i love doing these new cases you know i love um I love it when we have a new case and that I've never done before and then so I've done it a few times in the past you know because I'm so excited about it and so like technically I'm the one who's more experienced so um, I just decided that I'm gonna finish until they put the implants in so it was a total knee replacement you know so I just decided that I'm gonna finish you know then put the implant in and then put away all the in orthopedic instruments you know the instruments that we are not familiar with just leave the basic tray and then hopefully after that then I can leave but oh my gosh it was already 6 30 and my plan was actually I was thinking that I need to go early like like I should aim to leave early and she was hoping that she would see me at 4 30 oh my gosh I was so bloody I was just really like rushing and um, and then she was, and then I just kind of relaxed a bit when I, I saw her text message. And she has so many missed calls. I had so many missed calls from her, so many messages. And then she was like, just don't come. <sighs> and it was just breaking my heart. And, and you know, the surgeon was telling me, don't worry, just relax. And I'm like, I really need to go, you know? And he was like, it's okay I'm like no I don't want her to feel that she's not important you know and then anyway um, anyway I insisted on going you know even though my daughter is telling me don't go anymore we missed all our appointments whatever but I feel like I mean I think I'm not the only parent you know who will have that problem you know you can't get out of work early enough and I'm thinking like surely if somebody else took my slot and managed to do it earlier surely there will be space you know surely if you're there and they have time surely they will still see you right <gasps> do I have egg yes <laughs> thank god I have one last egg I thought I
we ended up getting there and they were very accommodating. And I'm like, we managed to speak to all the teachers that we needed to speak to anyway. So that was good. I was so relieved about that. <sighs> because at least, I didn't feel like I failed. <laughs> you know what's hard? It really makes you feel like you're failing, you know? Like you're failing as a parent. I should have made you walk. Where? What? <laughs> to where? Yes, luckily I'm not going abroad. I'll find the time to return tomorrow, otherwise they can't access the song. Oh, good. How far do you have to go to get to work? I'm trying to stay awake to adjust to the time difference, but it's so hard now. Oh, no. You know what? I had a nap today. It's so hard to stay awake too. Especially in Six Nations Rugby Merchandise. Yes, exactly. It was only a double, only one double. Yeah, only one double. Like, not knowing the lyrics has stopped you. Does this Shakira guy still come here? You know what? I watched a video, and apparently, a lot of people do that. Like, call people who are, like, call women Shakira and in Egypt. <laughs> Maybe it's Egyptian. Chickpeas again in shades of blue. It was so nice having a hot shower when I got back. Oh, yeah, definitely. How's, um, did she manage to speak to her parents about how she feels? She has sent her soap to wash her dirty mind. What? You know what? Leave my dirty mind alone. My secret to looking young. <laughs> I have a dirty mind. No, it actually makes sense. Listen, listen, it actually makes sense. So you feel it after, yeah. So the reason why, yeah, because the reason why I have a dirty mind is because um i'm not very mature you know so like if your mind is not very mature it manifests <laughs> in your body your mind is thinking that you're just 18 or 12 and then you know your body kind of ends up looking like it's just 18 or 12. there you go and because because i am 18 or 12 i mean in my mind then you know i would giggle at the at the silly things you know like like would you like a little screw you know stuff like that or like how this filipino aubergine or filipino eggplant <laughs> is so much smaller <laughs> than the english ones <laughs> i'm joking <laughs> congratulations sounds like a crazy stalker I'm sure you mentioned that you had a special someone. Wink, wink. <clears throat> I know, but then there was a point that I, I thought that nothing. Don't worry about it. Maybe I should just not talk about it. Anyway, you just know that um, it's because a lot of people ask me if I'm single. That's why. And I, I don't know what to say. And it's like one of the most common things that people ask you while you're alive. Are you single? <laughs> All right, so that's why you haven't been on because <laughs> no, no, I would still have gone on. I would still have. I was. I had run out of battery. It's a true story. See, my pan is too hot now, and I haven't even finished doing this. What time is it? Okay, fine. I'll turn it off for now. <clears throat> I don't know. You do nursing. That's a hard job. I love it, milkman. I, I mean, you get trained for it. So I guess you get used to it. What do you do, the milkman? It was only a double. She got nine lives and she would be the winner of the prize. Melanie would die this week. Really? Did you like her? Shift work is the worst. I was the same once. John, good evening. How are you today? When I went on my day with Roxy, I might have been overdressed while she was dressed in a hoodie like insane Nike trainers. Really? Wait, what did I do? What did I say? 
Sorry, I have to sleep. Bye, Tim. Good night. I hope you. It's probably okay for you to sleep now. Anyway, maybe you'll sleep through the night. I have to get going. Bless to do. Enjoy. Hi, you guys. Good evening. Later, alligator. Bye. Good evening, Tim. How are you, John? How was your day today? Busy. Busy. I had to do a lot of things. I did a couple of loads of laundry. I washed the floor here. I watched a film. I watched Lupa. I watched a lot of things because I was working out while I was watching some of them. I worked out and then I washed, uh, I cleaned the bathroom. <gasps> I still have to iron some uniform because it's uniform day tomorrow. Tomorrow is Monday. And I'm just making it dinner. Wow, you're so beautiful. Thank you so much, Yagesh. I'm glad you think so. What are you cooking? Um, so in the pot number one, in pot number one, we have adobo, which is a Filipino dish. Oh, no. So this is adobo. That was me. So I'd want, I'd want my potato to look like this, you know. I'd want the potato to look dark. That's or that's how we want it. That's how you should want it. That's how adobo should be. Your potato should be a bit dark. So that's adobo right there. And then we are going to make. We are going to do this later. We are going to do aubergine dish. I thought you were talking about ashes. Oh no. I was anxious about Carmela, Carmela's teacher's PTA because I wasn't, I wasn't gonna make it. That's what I was anxious about. I was anxious about how she feels about that. I was anxious about, like, I was worried that she was gonna think, like, you know, out of all the days that I come home early, I decide to come home late on that day, you know? I did it all wrong. I think I just did it all wrong that day. I should have. Should have done better but i had really i had a really strong optimism like about that surgeon <laughs> like i really thought like i was somehow for some reason i really thought he was gonna be like so super quick although he is he's very skilled and i had maybe too much too much optimism about how quick he was going to be so I thought I was gonna be done but anyway too late now <clears throat> I just have to do the bins. That's it. That's what I need to do now. After dinner, all I have to do is do the bins and then watch maybe watch the rest of the film and then that's it. And then what you do with this is so there you go. So you peeled it yeah, and then you do this. I've done this here before. I've done this on Bigo before. I mean Carmela loves this dish so every time I go to that Turkish store I would buy this um this aubergine. Because it's not the right, I mean, it's not a standard size of eggplant or aubergine in this country. Like, the aubergine in this country, or eggplant, is way bigger than this. You know, and it's not really very good for this particular dish. Because it has to be kind of thing like this. Because you want to you wanna press it down. Because like, that's what I'm doing. Like, I'm pressing it down like that. And then you will dip it in egg. You know, and then you will fry it. Which... Just dip it in the egg. This egg with a bit of soy sauce and salt and pepper. You know, 
And then, tayo. But wait, I have to hit it up first. Some, there are a lot of different versions. Like, some people will put like chopped up tomatoes and like after you fry it, right? Chop up tomatoes and um, cucumber and onions, you know, on top. A bit of lemon. Sometimes it's just the way it is. Sometimes some people will put <coughs> flour or cornstarch to make it crispier. But there's a lot of different variations, but I just do it the simple way, like traditional. I thought you are married or single. See what I mean? Exactly. That's exactly what I mean. Everybody asks that. I'm good, thanks. I am divorced. I'm seeing someone. <laughs> I'm good, thanks, since I was at work today. How was work? So I overdressed with my date with Roxy while she was just being herself. You know, my ex mother in law told me there is no such thing as overdressed. <laughs> but I mean, I don't think it's a ball gown. You know, but I don't think it matters. Like, over over the years, actually, um, what I have um, come to realize, like, you know, in an exploration of myself, I don't really care much about that. You know, I think most of the time, the, the worry that we have about what we wear, most of it has something to do with how other people perceive us. You know, how we will be seen. So, I mean, now that I think about it, you know, if I look at somebody, if I look at somebody, do I judge them because of what they're wearing? And then, do I decide that, you know what, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I don't like you as a person because of what you're wearing. You know what I mean? So, if I feel like, and for me, I don't feel that way. You know, I feel like people are deeper than what they're wearing. And if I don't feel that way, why like would i want to be associated like would i want to please the people who are like that you know like do i actually want people to like me because based on what i am wearing you know what i mean i mean i, I kind of care about um you know like fitting in or um you know not being too um different you know because i i still want to be part of you know the society you know i still want to be feel like i belong <laughs> you know what i mean so like i still want to be appropriate you know for what i'm doing but i mean at the end of the day i think it doesn't really matter that much like if you internalize about how important is it actually for you like what somebody is wearing you you know I, I think i realized that for me it's not really that important and so i think actually i realized that i like dressing up you know i like wearing different things i like having a lot of variety in what i wear and <laughs> like i like to be wearing something like this right now and then maybe another time i want to wear something different you know and i want to have that freedom to be able to do that you know and so it doesn't matter like even if you're so mismatched it doesn't matter that's what she chose to wear that's what you chose to wear you know But okay, I'm gonna take, I'm just lifting it up at the moment to take it out of the heat just for the meantime because I made it too hot. But actually, it's fine. So I explained to her I wanted to impress her. I mean, if that's what you thought was a good thing to wear, <laughs> it's fine. It doesn't matter. Oh, no. I made it too dry. 
dry. So I'm taking it out. Too hot. Maybe I'll add a bit of water. You can add water as well. I just prefer not to. Like if I if I didn't if I paid more attention, it wouldn't like it would be just probably okay. But it's fine, it doesn't really matter. I got a new phone today from EE, it's Samsung phone. Which one is it? You like Indian food? Oh yeah, I do. Actually, just um, made some chickpea curry recently, getting a recipe from one of my colleagues, and she, and I really liked it, and I want to make it with a different meat, you know, because it was with chickpeas, and I wanted to do it with a different meat, like, I don't know, something else. I don't know, maybe fish curry. Are you Indian, Nirgesh? That first date didn't matter in the end as the chemistry and spark came through ten. Yeah, exactly. I mean, as I said, I don't think it matters. <laughs> I don't think it matters that much. The clothes. I mean, you can kind of tell um, somebody's face, I guess, you know. But I mean, you're gonna take it off. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, what matters is what's underneath. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking, calm down, bloody hell. Bloody hell. Oh, I ran out of um, paper towels. This would be good with paper towels. They took. They look like banana skins. What the? Virginia, would you marry me? I'm single too. I want a wife like you. I don't think that's a good idea, Yogesh. You need to get to know somebody very well before you marry them. What if I'm a serial killer? Huh? What if I want to keep you in a cage, <laughs> lock you up? <laughs> he would be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> BDSM <laughs> Not that kind of lock you up Yogesh <laughs> It was a bit busy on and off then quit Oh okay You judge people not by what they wear but Hey Ross But what their bottom looks like at the eye level for you <gasps> Ross how are you I miss you you know I actually do How have you been? Ah, I don't have paper towels. And then you get a dip, like, it's either <laughs> you dip it, soy sauce again, it's true, it's true though. Okay, so it's either vinegar, <laughs> here we go again, I think it's vinegar, soy sauce, lemon, garlic. That's a Filipino cooking for you. So either you have like, um, a dip <laughs> with soy sauce, <laughs> or like a dip with vinegar, or you use banana ketchup, banana ketchup, there you go. That's what you use. No, it really doesn't matter at all. I'm thinking you are a good cook. Thank you. Yes, I'm in there. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad you think so. I'm not really an expert. I just cook all the time because I need to. <laughs> no, it's because I, I don't particularly enjoy it. Actually, 
I just do it because I want to eat. My number one motivation for making food is because I want to eat. And sometimes, um, I do enjoy exploring stuff. You know, I do enjoy exploring the and it, I don't know. I actually like, I actually like catering to my kids. I do like that. You know, I do enjoy that. Like I, I feel like I'm being a good mom <laughs> somehow. <laughs> it's true. Part of it is that. You know, like I feel like. Yeah, I'm cooking for them here. Mmm. I'm such a good mom. <laughs> not that you're not a good mom if you don't, but you know what I mean? Like, I guess for me, that makes me feel that way, you know? laurel or laurel leaf but um, Carmela my kids don't like it so I don't put it so that's the only other thing that's meant to be there I mean this could be <laughs> I've made this not as saucy but it could range like it could range from Really, really saucy. This, actually, this is quite dry for what it is, you know. I mean, there's different vari variations, but this variation is dry for what it, it is. Some people like it really saucy, like like soup, you know, almost, almost like soup, but it doesn't have to be. What time is it? Seven, what? For me, that's like late. <laughs> for me, that's like late for dinner. And you know what else? In the, you know what else I learned from 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 the pub is that apparently in Greece, um, they it's normal to have dinner at like eleven thirty. You nap how many times during the day? Like apparently, you nap in the afternoon and then you wake up, you do food shopping and go to the gym. At 10 o'clock, you sleep again. And then at 11.30, you wake up and have dinner. Huh? That's it. Normally, I'll be asleep. <laughs> By 10.30, it's the end of my day. It's like really late. Like sometimes I even feel like that's really late for me. I'm like a child. I'm telling you. I, I didn't tell you, right? I'm like a child. Told you. Told you. It's my bedtime is nine. <laughs> anyway, that's done. Dun, dun, dun. Well, we're gonna eat it with rice. And then we have rice. I always have rice. Always. Always have rice. See, I told you. <laughs> I told you, I have rice. I always have rice. And see, more rice. I have two more containers of rice and then I just have to put them there on the table, you know, and then set the table and whatever, put some glasses. And then I gotta go because it's a school night and I still have to iron some uniforms. And I still have to hang these clothes that are here. And you know what my problem is? I didn't put her PE kit there. So then now, I have to think about a day during the week where I have to do the PA kit. <clears throat> we were, we are still together, we still enjoy each other's company. You look like an angel, like Chinese goddess. <laughs> really, you think so? Even sometimes we disagree with things or we get on each other's nerves. Well, that's normal, like I think even with anybody, <laughs> even if you're not together, even if it's just a person you're working with. 
with anybody. If you spend enough time together, you're gonna get in each other. So don't spend time with each other. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. Be more careful in the kitchen. Don't burn yourself. Thank you so much, John. That's very kind of you. Come in there. My mom make you delicious food. That's so sweet, your gash. Thank you so much. I'll miss you too. Sorry, still haven't been present much. Been in a while and didn't. I wasn't present either. I was so busy, like, and my phone just wouldn't charge the other day. And I was like really craving having it. Oh my gosh. I feel like I want to sleep now. Looks great. Yummy. Where are you from? You guess I live in North London. I grew up in Philippines. I'm half Filipino, half English. And you say you're Indian. Are you in India now? Um, but I, I'd be better. I keep saying that. I'd be better. I'd be better. And then I, I just disappear. Huh? Anyways, I gotta go off to another open mic. Take care. Enjoy. And actually, I'm gonna go as well because we're gonna have dinner now. I just have to heat up the rice. And then... I have to think about... When am I gonna... <gasps> we can be to... We can be on YouTube. I mean, Bigo some more. Wait... What time on Beagle? Huh? What time? Oh yeah, last week we've been on Beagle in the morning, right? So maybe we should do it in the evening. Yes, let's do evening now. Let's do evening live. And, and, let's do an evening live. At what time? Hmm? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Or shall we just see each other in the morning? I'm so confused. I don't know. Fine, in the morning, in the morning. We'll do it in the morning. We'll do it in the morning. Because I am going to make pancakes. We haven't had pancakes in a long time. <gasps> do I have pancakes? No, she doesn't like pancake syrup anyway. So it's fine. Okay. Pancakes tomorrow morning on Bigo 6.30. 6.30. You are welcome, kids. I am in India, but really, I'm falling in love with you. Oh, thank you, Yogesh. I'm seeing somebody, though. Okay, goodbye, everybody. I'll see you on Bigo tomorrow at 6.30 a.m. GMT. Have a good rest of your day. You want to see again your product of today's life? The product of today's life, uh, adobo, mm, pork, adobo, Filipino, chef, and um, tortang talong, which is aubergine or eggplant. Omelette. <laughs> yes, that's what you should call it. Aubergine or aubergine or eggplant omelette. There you go. <sighs> Bye, you guys. Nice to meet you. Bye, John. Bye, the unexpected John. Bye, my dog. Bye, Ross. I don't really know. Then from Mars, if you're still there, goodbye. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tim! No, Tim is already asleep. The milkman. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, I don't know who else is there. Facebook me. I don't really use my Facebook much anymore. Like, I don't know. It just kind of happened. Like, um, sometimes I see messages there that I haven't seen in years. Like, it just kind of evolved. Like, my app use just kind of evolved from that to Bigo, you know, and YouTube. And then now it's like I barely see my Facebook. And then... Sometimes I have colleagues who add me on Facebook that I don't even risk. Oh, actually, because I went public on Facebook at some point when I was starting, when I started to think that, oh, you know what? I'm enjoying the social media thing. And I, I opened it <clears throat> to public. <clears throat> and that was a wrong idea because um, that was wrong because people started calling me like crazy. And then I started having a lot of friend requests. And then... Um, at first, I thought, you know what, I can cope with it. Like, just, okay, just add people if you're going to do it public. Then I started to add people, and then it just won't stop. Like, every day, like 500 requests every day, and then it doesn't stop. And then, what's worse is people just keep calling you, and I can't use my phone because people keep calling me. So I think I got scared that time, and then I just stopped. <laughs> I just stopped. I just, I even... I even deleted my Facebook because I was just like, I'm not used to this. What is this? What is happening? And then I deleted it. And then I don't know. Like after that, I just d didn't use it as much. But then now it's more calm. Like I don't think a lot of people call me there anymore. So 
I guess I use it more now, like sometimes. But most of the time, I think my content there comes from like Instagram. You know, when I post something on Instagram. See you later. Stop being. I don't really want to be a stranger. I really, really, really wanted to go live, but it's just this happened. Okay, understand. Yeah, but I always go live here. Like it's better. Um, like I just go live. It's like I'm talking to everybody at the same time, right? And then nobody, can, nobody has to call me. It's fine. Um, anybody, anybody, anyway. Um, but I, if you want to message me, like, one-on-one, -on -one, I respond to all my messages anyway. You know, so I respond to all my messages on Instagram. I respond to all my messages on Beagle. Bye, everybody. <gasps> no! <sighs> Again? Oh, my goodness. I'm telling you. Every single year, every single year, I forget one bloody decoration. Oh my gosh, dear, it was the Christmas lights. How did I not see that? How did I not see? It's because it's out of my, it's too high up, that's why. It's out of my line of sight and maybe I see it now because I'm looking down, you know, on my phone and then it's there. Bloody hell. And you know what? I've already put everything in the box. In the in the cupboard. Oh. Oh, I really don't want to do it. I really don't want to do it. Insta ID. My Instagram is tinspence underscore spencer. Ha ha ha. See I level hand the decorations at the bottom high high high. high. Oh, <laughs> okay. Goodbye, everyone. I'll see you tomorrow.